Today we are talk, talking about the most famous uh, corporate leader uh, in India, Anand Mahindra, chairman of Mahindra Group. First of all, uh, we, uh, we have an introduction of Anand Mahindra. Anand Mahindra, born, uh, born in uh, 1st May to, uh, 1955, uh, he is the chairman of Mahindra Group, a Mumbai based business collaborator. Uh, it is considered to be one of the most reputed Indian in the industry houses with market leadership in many business verticals, including utility vehicles, tattoos. Next, uh, 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 next, the Mahindra Group is an Indian multinational headquarters at the Mahindra Towers in Mumbai and a business persons in aerospace, automotive, defense, agri, agri, agri business, finance, and insurance. And it is also a uh, vertical uh, business um, uh, association with hospitality, real estate, uh, IT, industry equipment, etc. Uh, it is incorporated in 1945 by brothers Jesse and Kirsi Mahindra and uh, Malik Gulam Muhammad to uh, trade steel. One of the most repu uh, reputed Indian industry houses with market leadership in utility vehicles as well as starters in India. So background study of uh, Anand Mahindra. Uh, Anand Mahindra is born on 1st May uh, 1955. He is graduated from Harvard, Harvard College Cambridge uh, in 1977 and completed MBA from Harvard Business School Boston in 1980, 1981. And he also uh, likes, to, uh, likes to play tennis and sailing. And he is also a, a keen photographer uh, with a strong interest in films. And uh, uh, next is, uh, he is chairman of National Safety Council of India, co-chairman of World Economic Forum, past president Confederation of Indian Industry, president of ARI, um, Automotive Reserves Association of India, is a co is a co-chairman of the Interna International uh, Council of the Council of Asia Society, New York. Here some of the accomplishments of Anand Mahindra. He got uh, Rajiv Gandhi Award in 2004. CNBC Asia, um, Asia uh, Business Leader Award for the year 2006, Most Inspiring Leader from NDTV Profit, Business Leader of the Year by Economic Times in 2008-2009, Named Business Leader of the Year 2011 at the Asian Awards, Armahindra is the uh, felicitated by the Leadership Award of India US, Bilateral Trade Promotion Organization, also, GRD Tata Corporate Leader Award at, um, a, at Asian Awards 2011, Entrepreneur of the Year by Forbes Indian Leadership Award 2013, Sustainable Development Leadership Award by the Energy and Resource Institute 2014, uh, Social Media Person of, um, of the Year by the, in, uh, by the Internet and Mobile Association of India 2016, uh, Disruptor uh, Personality of the Year Award by uh, Bluebird TV India 2016. Harvard Medal, uh, he got a Harvard Medal, Harvard Alumni Association in 2014. And he is one of the top 30 CEOs worldwide um, by the Bar List 2016. This is, we can talk about uh, some, uh, talk about uh, Mahindra Group. Uh, Mahindra Limited is an Indian multinational car manufacturing corporation. Headquarters in Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. It is one of the largest vehicle manufacturer by production in India and the largest manufacturer of tractors in the world. It is, it, uh, it is a part of Mah Mahindra Group and Indian collaborate. It, uh, it was ranked 21st on the uh, in the list of top companies in India by Fortune India 500 in 2011. It is a major it was a major competitors in India market include Marty Suzuki, Tata Motors, Asher Leyland, and others. Mahendra Mahendra brands its product uh, products as Mahendra producers SUVs, saloon cars, pickups, commercial vehicles, also two wheelers, uh, motorcycles, and tractors. It, it owns assembly plants in India, uh, China, UK, and th uh, three and three assembly plants in United States. Mahendra maintains business relationship with the foreign companies like uh, Renault. Mahindra Mahindra is, uh, has a global presence and its pro, uh, products are exported in several countries. Uh, its global subsidiary include Mahindra, uh, Mahindra Euro, uh, based in Italy, Mahindra USA, Mahindra South Africa, and Mahindra China. 
Next is Mahendra. Mahendra produces a wide range of workers, including MUVs, LCBs, and three railways. It manufactures over 20 models of cars, including larger multi utility vehicles um, like Scorpio and Bolero. This is uh, awards and recognition um, recognized by Mahindra Group. Its family equipment division received the uh, DMIM prize in 2013. The family equipment division received the Japan Quality Medal in 2007. Uh, Mahindra achieved the role of corporates in Road Society Award at the FICC uh, Road Safety Awards 2017. Bombay Chamber Corporate, uh, Corporate Award for 2006 and 2017. Uh, Business World FICC SCDC uh, Corporate Social Responsibility Award in 2007. These are some, uh, some uh, awards uh, get by uh, Mahendra Group. This is uh, some of the major decisions taken by RN Mahindra in Mahindra Group. Uh, in uh, trade and financial sec uh, service sector, infrastructure development sector, information and technology and telecom sector, auto um, automotive component, sec uh, component sector. Uh, these are some of the se sectors, um, um, sectors in Mahindra Group that uh, um, uh, that it, uh, uh, Anima Hindra gives a major decision makers making in these sectors. Also, uh, acquisition of Satyam is a major decision taken by Anima Hindra and Mahindra Groups. Also, uh, he had a diversification of real estate um, and the hospitality sector uh, in 2015. Uh, it is a, ma a major and important, uh, um, important uh, uh, decision taken by Anima Hindra. Yes, and leadership qualities, um, uh, some of the leadership qualities of Anand Mahindra. Uh, intrinsic value, creativity and innovation, experimental and risk taking, uh, foresight, uh, res, uh, foresight uh, courage to take up challenges. Th uh, these are some uh, leadership qualities by Anand Mahindra. Next is uh, we had uh, scholarship and grants uh, given by Mahindra Group. KC Mahindra Scholarship for Post Graduate Students Award. Mahindra Search for Talent Scholarship, KC Mahindra U, uh, UWC Scholarship, Mahindra All India Talent Scholarship. Now we can watch a um, speech by Elmanya Mahindra uh, about leadership qualities. This is a question that's uh, asked very often of business people, that what do you look for when you try to identify or recruit leaders in your company? Um, I've now been in business quite a while, uh, so I can use my vintage to advantage and say that I have not necessarily found a magic formula, but I have found one which I use consistently over the time and, is, uh, and has stood in good stead as far as I'm concerned. Empathy. It's, it's one word. When I talk to someone, by the time the person has met me, a number of filters have already been in operation. Where did the person go to school? What were the credentials? What are the functional skills? What is the knowledge that that person has? Um, they've been through a number of psychometric tests already, which give you certain ranges in their, in their temperament and so on and so forth. So when I talk to somebody, I try to understand whether they're able to exercise empathy. By empathy means, do they know how to put themselves in somebody else's shoes? So all these things about being good listeners, for example, comes from empathy. You cannot be a good listener unless you are empathizing with somebody. So I'm using empathize in a very broad sense. It's not just empathy doesn't just mean feel for somebody. It means the ability to get out of your own skin. Once you can do that, then you will inevitably be very curious. You will inevitably be a good listener. You will inevitably want to get more information from other people and sympathize with a different person's point of view. When you sympathize with another person's point of view, you hear it and you're able to integrate it. So you become a constant learning machine. And then all the good things about managers which you want, which is that they are understanding, that they are sympathetic to people's needs and desires, 
all of those come to play if you have this one quality. People, when they say this is not a good people person, there are a number of reasons you can put under that. To me, a people person is simply somebody who can get out of his or her own shoes and plant themselves and say, what does that person want? What are they looking for from this conversation? Not right away, what can I get out of this meeting and get away? So to me, empathy is the, is the most important one. And a subsidiary one, but perhaps equally important, a little bit of a cliche here, but I look for people who are able to combine both right and left brain thinking. That's what makes Renaissance leaders. You can get somebody who is a potential Nobel Prize winner in, in quantum physics, if you like. They're not going to make good leaders. Good leaders are people who understand how to think visually, how to think creatively, and therefore are able to visualize different worlds and able to understand different perspectives, integrate points together. We talked earlier about a VUCA world. Who are the people who are going to be able to cope with a volatile and uncertain world? It's people who can join the dots, people who see disparate points of view, weigh them, and then find an ability to integrate them. So these are the two qualities I really would look for. Empathy, above all, and B, an ability to balance both the right and left hemispheres of our brains when we are thinking.